on everyone, welcome to the Fisher YouTube channel, my name is Brian, today we're going to be opening the Artec TIG 210 EXT. Uh, first things I'll say is the packaging is sturdy enough, it's fairly solid stuff, it does look like it's being thrown about a bit in, uh, in transport, so uh, it survived it, so get the knife out. First thing that's in here is a banner, you won't get one of them. Just because I told them I've got a YouTube channel, they've uh, put a banner in with it, so uh, you don't have to worry about that. Let's take this box out of here first. The first thing you see is a lovely earth clamp with a copper band in between the two and the copper plates you get a lot of uh, even higher end brands skimping out on that sort of stuff and uh, see if we can push this back we're just trying to see if it's a single or double screw in there but uh, anyway it's standard quick coupling fittings on it gas hose for your argon or your helium mix whatever you want to use nice and flexible braided hose brass fittings business end of things torch, flex head, that's nice, it comes with that automatically, it's got 2T and 4T uh, function on this welder, from what I read, nice supple lead, threading connections and your gas couplings, One thing I'll say about this is I can't believe that all of this kit is included in this unit for the price that they sell them at. It's an ACDC TIG unit with four uh, pulse waves, foot pedal, torch, your earth lead, I believe you get a regulator in here, yeah, you got a regulator, stick lead, Tungsten pack, consumables pack, and for the money it is unbelievable. Good every foot pedal. It doesn't feel you know nice and smooth. Made in America the foot pedal, if I remember right from what I read online. SSCcontrols.com. So yeah, made in America. Standard seven pin connection. You ever want to change it out for something else? Consumables pack. A selection of tungstens. Different sizes. Number six cup, number five cup, and number seven cup. 
some collets, collet bodies and some back caps. Stubby and long. Dig torch. Not so sure on the colour, but that's just me being finicky. Good tight grip on there. That's nice, that. And the regulator. Feels heavy. Old brush, it's nice. Bit of a question for the uh, viewers in America. I've noticed a lot of your regulators have T nuts. Do you actually have them with the uh, just with a knob on the end, or do you have to? Is it only T nut ones that you have over there? Just some I've noticed. Instruction book in English. Good English as well, not pigeon English. Pull this bad boy out. A good weight about it. Standard European switch on the back. Uh, you do have to order the plug separately. It doesn't come on it. I've got a 16 amp one lined up for that. You can... Um, can run it off a 13 amp plug. Obviously, you, your maximum output then is limited. Right, so we've got our uh, normal quick couple fittings. Plus, seven pin screw in fitting. I'm trying to do this all one handed, it's pretty tricky. Uh, come on, wakey wakey. There we go. And then this gas outlet, that's quite nice that, because you literally just push it in and away you go and then when you come to undo it, pings it out like that. And then your earth lead, I won't get it, it's all the way over there. Uh, same as the uh, torch basically, into your positive. Just like the vast majority of the systems on the market. Control panel has got a nice uh, Perspex cover. Your memory, you've got nine uh, programs that you can save into your uh, into your welder that's pretty handy for me because i'm always going from like one mil up to sort of 20 mil thick plate all the time it's uh it's pretty handy that uh and also on this system you've got um normal setup which is where all of that's available to you um and then you've got your ac setup and your dc setup and they limit what you can mess around with on the panel um so you can only adjust things like your amps basically when you've got the uh, easy setup from what I was reading on the manual. Nice digital screen to uh, tell you what your amps and your volts and everything are. For uh, waveforms, your 2T14, your pedal. Again, I was reading in the manual last night. It 
seem to suggest that you have to have two T on at the same time as the pedal, but we'll find out more about that uh, when we uh, when we start operating, I suppose. You've got your pulse as well, set your pulse up. Nice diagram, runs you through it like all the uh, other units that you, you come across. Um, I've noticed that the uh, the Millers don't have that, and uh, a couple of other major brands. Uh, high frequency start, obviously, that's good for uh, removing your contamination and whatnot, or, or stopping contamination. Uh, and your lift TIG, uh, it's quite handy that when you're uh, in hard to reach areas, um, or areas where it's quite difficult to get into, so you can just touch the tungsten down and then lift it off. And also, when you're working like me on cars a lot of the time, um, it stops the uh, ECU getting screwed up, basically. Um, stick mode, and your voltage reduction device, I think it's called. When uh, when you've got an open circuit, i.e. you're not welding, it reduces the volts down from, I think, 70 to 20 volts. Um, basically, reduces the chance of you getting a shock. Uh, you select button that runs you through all the different parameters and everything like that and then you adjust them with your knob that's quite a nice knob I quite like that I don't like them when they spin too freely it's got a few clicks in it it's quite nice uh, and your arc force hot start and your hot start uh, amps which works off uh, percentage I was reading that last night as well so uh, what I'll do is um, I'll start doing some videos and do some reviews on it. It's a smart looking machine. It feels well built. I would I would say it looks distinctly similar to a, another welder which is very well known. I'm not going to say the brand. It does make me wonder whether they're out of the same factory or what. Um, I do know that Artec has been going a lot longer than said brand that I'm talking about though, so you tell me. Right, so along with the welder, uh, I ordered a few extra little toys because uh, I personally have never had a welder with a foot pedal. I've used them, but I've never actually had one. So I thought I'd uh, treat myself to uh, a new torch as well. It's a CK Worldwide CK9, specifically for foot pedal operation, so it doesn't come with a switch or anything like that. Um, and it's reason I've got it is just because it's so nice and light and flexible. You're not messing around carrying all of that extra gubbins with you. You can get it into some nice tight spaces and whatnot. So it's uh, that comes with comes with the parts list as well, which is quite nice. Lovely and flexible that, can't knock that. So, uh, I also got a leather shroud, three meters long. Zips up, see if I can open it for you, it'll be a bit better. Leather shroud, I like the material your gloves are made from really. Zips up on, the, on either side. See if I can get that in the lens. Three meters long. Um, because I've used the uh, the shrouds before that are like that nylon material. And I don't really see the point in them because it has melted. I mean, I suppose it did stop the, the gas pipe from melting through, I suppose. But uh, I much prefer the idea of a leather one. I've got a flow meter, even though I've already got a flow meter, but uh, I might get two bottles at some point, so it's quite a nice thing. 
Feels good. Got some consumables for the uh, CK9 torch. If you do order one of the CK9 torches, you have got to get an adapter to go onto the quick coupler. Um, and then that goes into your into your gas supply. You do have to get that. You have to order it separately. Um, and you also have to order, off the top of my head, I think you do, you have to order the uh, any consumables separately as well. Um, so, yeah. The leather shroud I will be putting... I think I will be. I'm undecided as of yet. I'll be putting the leather shroud on this torch because this is the torch I'll be using when I'm in tight positions uh, and in uncomfortable areas where the, the lead might drag on a hot surface. Um, whereas the CK9 torch will literally just be for bench work more than anything. Uh, either that or when I'm stood up working on a vehicle and the torch is going to be down below me, not near anything hot. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do, I think. Pretty sure I'll use this on this torch. So you get all of that in that video, in the, in the first half of this video before I uh, unpackage the second box. Uh, you get all of that with a three year warranty, UK backup service. Um, the warranty is returned to base as well, which is, uh, I, I just can't believe that they can do all that for that price. Um, if you go on the website, I'll leave a link in the description uh, for that price. It's uh, it's unbelievable, really. Really nice people. If you ring them up, good to talk to. They'll help you through the whole lot. Um, I just can't knock them, really. I'm raving on about it. Um, just from the initial impression, really. I'll know for sure once I start welding with it. I'll be able to decide whether I like it or not. Um, I hope I do. <laughs> um so yeah, I'll uh, I'll do some follow-up videos where I'm doing some welding, and uh, yeah, let me know if you've got one. That'd be good. Let me know if you've got one and tell me what you think of it. I can't knock it so far. I think it's unbelievable. Thanks for watching the uh, rather poorly uh, edited and completed opening of the. Uh, the TIG 210 EXT. I haven't, uh, it was a bit of a rushed video. Literally, uh, I've got to be places and I've got mates coming around tomorrow. You might see that actually, I might put that in this video. Some friends coming around, they were having a camping do, fabricating friends. I'll let them have a play with it and uh, see what they think of it. That'll be good. Um, get some reviews off them as well. So, uh, so yeah, it was a bit of a rushed video. I promise if I ever do one in the future, I'll be a bit more organised about the whole lot and uh, make it a bit more professional, really. Um, I think there's plenty of uh, opening videos of these units online, anyway, if you have a look around. Anyway, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. If you're interested, like, follow, subscribe. Uh, that'd be nice. Uh, or on Facebook and Instagram as well. If you search for uh, Fisher.Engineering on Facebook and on uh, Instagram uh, and uh, yeah I'll let you know bye for now